Well, howdy everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by me, Borg Johnson. No, you know better than that. It's Jack, VintageElectronicsGeek.com here. Hoping everybody's having a good one. Today's topic is going to be about this Fedro Jiffy Tester. Before I get into this specific device, let me talk just ever so briefly about the company. And that is simply this. I cannot find any information, any real information on the company. The earliest I could find a advertisement for the company is from 1943, I believe it is. And that was with a battery charger. The last advertisement I could find for the company is 1975. After that, no more advertisements. The company was real popular throughout the 60s, uh, latter part of the 50s, throughout the 60s, and on into the 70s. It tore up the market with cheap junk. Lots and lots of cheap junk. It, in its day, was the eBay of its time. They sold all kinds of product. They sold battery chargers, bug zappers, pins, extension cords, testers. You name it, they sold just about it. The product line was primarily sold at pharmacies, low-end retail stores. You know, it was a cheap and inferior product, but they sold lots and lots of it. I do not know exactly when the, the company started, don't know when it ended, if it was bought out, or if it just collapsed. Company headquarters was in New Jersey, and the products themselves was made in Japan. With that said, that's all I have on the company. That's all I have on the corporation. So let's go ahead and talk about this product that you see here in front of you. As stated, this is a Jiffy tester. This style of tester, the earliest advertisement I could find for it is 1961. The latest I could find is 1964. Now, they did continue on making this product on through 1972-ish. However, after this model right here, 1965, the product changed colors. It, uh, the color became white, and the uh, design was just slight. They took these two prongs, and they brought them over here and flipped the text the other way. Otherwise, it's the, it was, it's the same product inside and out. Nothing new, nothing exciting. Up to about 1964, the product's logo was completely different. And so if you do have a earlier Fedro product, you'll probably notice that the logo is different than yours. The logo up to that point in time was a was an oval with, with the words Fedro in it. And that was it. The earliest I could find this logo that you see here at the top of your screen on the device was 1964. I'm sorry, it was 1965. However, as stated, this product changed in 1965. So the only thing I could think, why does this product have that new label, new logo, was maybe they had a bunch of these in stock and they just had to get rid of them. But I'm not even sure about that because I believe the logo was embossed in the plastic and not a sticker. This is a sticker. So if you have any further information on this, it would be swell to hear from you so by all means chime in and comment what you're looking at in case you haven't figured it out by now is a tube tester however this thing was marketed as more than just a tube tester it would cure cancer it would grow hair it would make things happen for you i'm kidding about all that basically it was a a filament a filament tester a, a heating element tester as you see here at the bottom it will test fuses these three sockets here will test tubes from your TV, from your radio, and it was pretty basic, pretty simple. There's no components on the inside. It's all hardwired. Nothing, nothing inside. We're going to take a peek at that here in just a moment. The item came with leads, which I think were just your standard leads with alligators on the end or, or something like that. Mine did not come with the leads, but looking at the, the packet that I could see, that's about all it appeared, but I, I cannot uh, testify to that fact. This is not your standard banana plug. I do believe these are pin plug or thereabout. Uh, I do have a pin set around here somewhere. I just have not had time to dig it out to confirm. Either way, we're not going to check that aspect of, of this item out. I do have mine open, so before we test it, we're going to take a peek at it. And the reason why I have it open is my case is very fragile. Uh, I'm going to show you here real quick in lighting. 
you'll be able to see these hairline fractures happening in my case. And now, my case looks pretty good. And that's because I spent the time to actually wax it. And I used, um, I used Novus 3, 2, and 1 in that order to polish mine up. I didn't spend too much time in it because the, the case is cracking, but I figured I'd clean it up, make it look presentable for YouTube. There are, there are a couple more videos online about this product. Um, nothing quite as in-depth as the history that I just had given you. You could see right up here where I, I still need to clean it. While uh, polishing this up, I did get into the crevices here, and I did start to lift some of the ink, so I... I stopped what I was doing. I'm really not too concerned whole whole bunch if uh, when this case cracks, you can find these online for about 20 bucks, give or take. However, I'm going to show you the inside, and when it when this does happen, uh, when it does break, I'm just going to get it and put it in a uh, in a project box. On the bottom here, you have yoke for. TV. Let's see if I can get it in the light. There we go. And let's go ahead and open it up. It does have provisions so you can stick your screwdriver in there. However, you can probably just barely see some hairline, not hairline, but some white in the uh, plastic where it's starting to give right there. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here you can see it takes three pin light batteries. And on this side, it's just that simple. Light bulb. And our three sockets. Our fuse jumper and our TV yoke. In the lighting there in the center you can see the uh, fracture going all the way through and if a bloke wanted to backwards engineer this by all means he could do it just fine. This came with instructions unfortunately I did not get the instruction set so I'm really not sure the proper way of testing this but it's to my understanding the, the stronger the filament the brighter the light will be so with that said let's go ahead and stick in uh, some tubes now the tube set that I'm going to stick in here and, and sample for this video is from my one of my earlier videos from my uh, Siemens radio and I don't have a lot of tubes on stock so this is one reason why I haven't really did a video on this product now that I got a radio that I've pulled all the tubes out of it makes perfect uh, sense to do this video now so we just stick it in the socket and so you can see there we got light and so it's just basically that simple. You just stick it in and go. So all of these, all the filaments are checking good. So what if we had that one in there and this one in here, what does it do? I've never done this before. Oh, look at that. It gets brighter. So, I guess the myth of uh, weak tubes, weak light, good tube, bright light, you tell me.
that'll do it for me. Looks like my batteries are getting weak and dying. Thanks for watching my video. I do appreciate your support. Please feel free to leave me comments, thumbs up if you like the video, and by all means, share it with your with your closest 5,000 friends. And speaking of 5,000, help me get to 1 million subscribers. I am so close. I would really, really appreciate that. So by all means, share my channel with everybody and help me with my goal of reaching 1 million subscribers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.